Celebrating black history tonight, we are looking back at the life of Frank Butler, known as the unofficial mayor of Lincolnville. As reporter Travis Gibson shows us, Butler's influence stretched far beyond the historically black neighborhood near downtown St. Augustine. When Gail Phillips was a young child in the early 1960s, she remembers her family loading up the car and driving down the coast to visit Butler's Beach. Our family would come to Butler Beach and just have the beach, you know, all to ourselves with a cooler, with our snacks and sodas and stuff and just hang out all day. Phillips, now the executive director of the Lincoln View Museum, and other black St. Johns County residents weren't allowed at any other beaches back then. They were for white residents only. But thanks to the vision of Frank Butler, they had a place where they could safely enjoy the sun and the sand. Butler came to St. Augustine in the early 1900s and quickly made his mark. He started working at another store and then he built his own business, several businesses as a matter of fact. So he became kind of like a business mogul in the black community. Eventually, he started buying oceanfront property on Anastasia Island with the dream of creating a black beach. During that time in 1927, black residents weren't allowed on any of the beaches between Daytona and American Beach in Nassau County. In 1947, Butler and his real estate company finally established Butler's Beach Subdivision in the area known as Butler Beach today. The area became a bustling entertainment area for black residents. It had a resort, bathhouse, inn, and casino. Butler even hosted key leaders of the civil rights movement at his black oasis, including Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And even after segregation ended, it remained a landmark for black residents in the South. Today, his legacy continues to live on inside the Lincolnville Museum and beyond. The area south of St. Augustine Beach is still known as Butler Beach, and plaques at the county park there tell his incredible and impactful story. Now, if you want to read more stories about black history in our area, just visit the Black History Month section on newsforjacks.com. Joy?